How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here, back with another Car Mechanic Sim 2021 video. And in today's video, we're going to hit up a couple of barn finds and see if we can find a new car to take on the drag ship. I have 17 barn finds accrued, so I should have plenty of, you know, searching available. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. I kind of want to look for something retro, uh, like a Mustang or maybe a Charger or Challenger. Um, I think I have a few mods in that are like drag versions of them, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. We'll check out this first one. I might just end up like tearing through like five or six of these until I find them and then show you. Ooh. McLaren F1. Okay. F1 is pretty good. Uh, what would the price that be? Wait, what? Seven million. Never mind. A Lancer. No. We're not getting the McLaren. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Not that rich. Let's see. Then this is a Salem. All right. Well, that is kind of a bust. And a bummer. All right. I'm going to find the next one. Just hopped into the second barn, and I think I actually found something that might be worth restoring here. This is... Oh, in the game, they call it a 1968 Tempest Magnum, but it looks closer, or what it would actually would be would be a 68 or 69 Dodge Daytona. Uh, you know, because it's got the massive uh, wing here. Oh, I think if it's within my wheelhouse... Oh, yeah, 37,000. Uh, the body looks good. The engine, on the other hand, does not look good, but we do have swap options, and that is really nice. I think it's got a V8. Yeah, it's got a supercharged V8. A, super, a V8 overhead valve supercharger. Uh, double carb? Dual carb? Yeah, yeah that's... Yep, yep, dual carb. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to pick up this. I think this one looks pretty good. We'll buy this, and I'll see you back at the shop. All right, I got the Daytona back here. It is actually completely on blocks, which I didn't realize at the time. Missing most of its front stuff. Okay. Hmm. All right, first up's first. I got to get it so it can actually, you know, be drivable or even movable. I'm not going to keep, uh, I'm not going to keep just shuffling it around. I'm going to go through really quick here. Uh, probably time lapse this. I'm gonna remove all the old suspension, uh, throw it in like the uh, sandblast to get it all good to go, bring it all back, and get a full new suspension down, uh, including the rear axles and everything like that. So I'll see you guys back here with this thing all torn down and put back together. I went by your house, what a big mistake. So the full suspension has been done. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but we are missing a couple things on the motor, but it honestly looks like the head and the uh, engine block, geez, and a bunch of components around it were replaced at one time because it looks pretty good. Uh, seeing as this is a barn find, that does make 
some sense. Uh, for the tires, it wants the retro ones, which we'll take a look at here. Rim shop. Let's see. We'll try. See what we have for retro. So this is the retro one B, which is what they want. Hmm. They're not bad. But saying that, I would rather go with retro 10 Bs or 10s and do not the black coat, but just go with a chrome style. Or retro 9s, actually. Yeah, I'm going I'm to do retro 9s. Let's see. We need four of them. Uh, probably go with 18 is what I'm thinking. Yeah, this is going to be a drag car, so... We have to have the same size tire, I think. Or the same size rim. Yeah, we'll go 18. No offsets. Pick them up. Tires, though. We're going to need vintage slicks. Do we have vintage slicks? No. Well, we'll go with just the good old Dominator. Four of them. 18s. With... Uh, we'll do 295 and a 30 pro, mm, 25 profile. I'm going to mount one up. I'll get one installed. Oh, wait, we need to go paint these really quick. I'm thinking of kind of matching what, uh, the Daytona from Cars was. It was blue, and I think it had chrome tires. I think probably check that but it'll, it should be fine and if i just want to do chrome all right i just need four of these this one's painted that one's painted already yeah just stick with the stock silver that the tire comes with and Adding a chrome. Oh, oh no, no, not chameleon. I do hope these look pretty good. All right. We're going to have new rims and tires and suspension before I even get the thing washed for the first time. You know, the side profile, the 25 might be a little small for these 18s. Was it the car? Was it 30? I think it was 25. Okay, we'll start with the front. Oh, yeah, it is a pretty thin wall. Oh, no. Okay. So we're definitely going to get bigger walled tires. The 295 is fine. But we need some way thicker tires. Alright, honestly, we're just going to double it. We'll do 4 at 18. 295 again. Keep these bad boys wide. But we're going to do a 40 profile on them this time. The 40s. Let me find these. Right, these should look a lot better. I want to, <clears throat> I want to fill out the wheel well at least a little bit, you know. Uh, let me separate these these okay all right let's see how well that one does nice okay yeah no that's that's pretty good that's that's almost perfect i'd say uh it's the 40s don't do oh i, I just took part of that one that's why oh yeah these are looking He's looking really, really nice. And there, there. Do that. You 
can change cars pretty quick. Wish there was a way to upgrade your tire machine so they could just do automatics. There we go. Right, I think that should be all four. Let's see how the rears look. I haven't really set these ones up yet. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. So the 40s were pretty, it's pretty good. Probably should have went with a 20 inch rim and a 20 offset or a, thir or a 20 inch rim and a 30 profile. Or I could have done a 19 and like a 30 or 35. I know what it worked. But. This is all right. This will work. All right. I can now get this bad boy rolled to the car wash. I didn't want to just keep sliding it around on blocks. I don't even know. How, I don't even know how the heck I got it into the garage, to be honest. All right. So the original code on this is not this blue, but this is like. This picture right here, minus those tires being black in the center, this is exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for that, not baby blue, but like semi-light blue, sky blue. Uh, this is what the stock color is. We're definitely going to try and match that. But let's start with a little bit of a wash. Is it two-toned? Oh, nope. It's just really, really dirty on the top. Okay. That's pretty nice. Honestly, the paint's in pretty good condition. Interior. What's the interior at? 79. That looks pretty good as well. I will give it a detail, though. Foamy, foamy, foam. A little bit cleaner now. Um, I'm going to pull out the interior. Just the, what, four or five pieces there are in here. I'm going to see if I can repair them, clean them up. Uh, if not, I'll just put new in. And then move this guy right back to our car. Look, A. All right. I don't know if I can repair the interior stuff. Parts, body. I have like a little leather spot I can do. Nope. Oh, I forgot I could do the brakes. Hmm. Well, that's all right. I gotta make this brake plate machine's pretty cool. It does take quite a while, though. Wow. Uh, all right, that's fine. If I can't repair these parts, I'm not super worried. I'll just get new. So, Magnum Bench, and then Seat Leather B. Bench, Seat Leather B. What did we have in your stock? And then, Wheel... Oh, I forgot this blocks. Uh, all right, we'll back it out into the sun real quick. Doesn't need a new paint of coat on, or coat of paint on it, but that's all right. And steering wheel, very nice. All right, now the question does also become: Is there any body tuning for this? Car. Oh, oh, okay. There is. Looks like it's mainly just a hood with a cutout for the scoop. Uh, some special, looks like newer style headlights. Probably gonna go with the originals or B's. But I do like tail light C's. Pick these up, and I'm gonna see if I can repair the hood because it looks like I already have hood B on here. Yeah, it looks like I already have that hood on. So let's move it back into the shop. Uh, A. All right, let's see how far we are now. So body frame. Oh yeah, let's do the frame really quick. This is one that I've been forgetting to do quite often. 1500, that's all right. And then I will be working on some of like the more expensive cars like 
Lamborghinis, Ferraris, stuff like that. But I'm mainly going to be, like, fixing them up cosmetically. Uh, just to, you know, fatten my wallet a little bit here. Because I did buy this one for 59000 And I could easily get it to 150000 with, like, pretty much no trying at all. But we're going to end it there, guys. We got the Daytona. So it's a Dodge, a 68... 1968 Dodge Daytona. We got it purchased. We got it. The whole suspension redone, brakes, brand new tires, which I think have a pretty nice fitment. I maybe could have done a little bit of a bigger offset on the rim size, but I think that's neither here nor there. It looks pretty good. Uh, we got it cleaned. And next up, we're going to get the body paint done, uh, motor done, maybe a little bit of extra, extra tuning. I'm going to see if I can get an ECU on the carb. Or, uh, not ECU. I'm going to get a, a tunable carb. But I said it does have a dual carb in here. Uh, right there and there. So, stay tuned to next episode. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I will be taking this on the drag strip. That's why we do have slicks on here as of right now. So, I'm pretty excited. Uh, leave a comment and a like down below. Let me know what you, if you guys are excited for this one. What other cars you want me to see work on that uh, you think are in the game. Might be in the game. I can always take a look. Because uh, there are a lot of mods, but thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next Car Mechanic Sim video.